Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking all about guinea pigs. We're going to share how we care for them and how we house them. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Alright, so this is our guinea pig housing. This is their whole setup here. We like to use kitty pools. There's different setups. Um, you can check those out online. But this is our setup. You can find the kitty pools at, you know, basically Kmart, Walmart, Lowe's, hardware stores, any place like that. So we just got two of them. We have holes cut out in the middle of them so they can run through because we do have two guinea pigs. So they need plenty of space to run, plenty of floor time. This is just a, an inexpensive uh, rubber bottom rug that we got at Ross, and so that will help absorb if they happen to make any accidents out so here. So we've got double decker top and bottom here. We use a fleece because they do like to sleep on fleece. They don't always like to be down in the bedding. They want something soft. Guinea pigs do have sensitive feet, so you wouldn't want to keep them on any type of like cage bottom where there's bars because that can hurt their feet over time. So they want, um, you know, soft things to sleep on, to walk on. Again, the boxes, just basic cardboard boxes that you can get at any grocery store or Costco or anything. Uh, we've got their water, food, and then their storage areas just above them. So basically, guinea pigs need their whole area, like, dedicated to them. They do take up a lot of space because they are not small rodents. Um, you know, they are, they are larger rodents, so they do need plenty of run space plenty of uh, exercise and a lot of attention. They're social animals, so that's why we have two. So for a fresh guinea pig cage, you want to clean it at least once a week. And so for cleaning, we like to use a solution of vinegar and water, and that's non-toxic. And so after you clean out all of the old shavings, you just spray down the kitty pools and you can wipe those clean and that neutralizes everything and then you can make a mixture, a 50-50 mixture of your Aspen wood shavings and your Carefresh or Katie paper shavings. And just do a 50-50 blend and fluff it up and you're ready to go. Christine mentioned the guinea pigs, you can potty train them. So in other words, that they will go into specific areas to do their business. But, um, so what's good about that is we like to let them out and run around and so that way we can be confident that they're going to make their way back into the cage to do what they need to do and not have to go around and uh, clean up after them out here on the floor. But they do like to run around a little bit in the living room and they always make their way back here. So you want to watch out when they are running around. You want to make sure that there's no power cords or furniture that they're going to chew on because it's just their natural habit to chew on anything that they can. And Time for the pig babies. Here, do a trick. Come on. Oh, there you go. Furiously eating away. <laughs> Good little shark. We're going to talk about food first, and what guinea pigs will need is a type of variety of pellets. This happens to be their favorite, called Sunburst. We get that at Petco. But most of the pellets will have uh, supplemental vitamin C. But in addition to the pellets, we do have these little drops that we put in their water. Also, guinea pigs need Timothy hay, and you can find this at regular pet stores too. This helps with their digestion. And in addition to giving them a daily diet of pellets, hay and vitamin C drops, they also need a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. So they like to eat spring mix, uh, lettuce, carrots, um, there's all kinds of stuff you can feed them. Kale, but they will be, you know, guinea pigs do have their own individual taste, so they will decide what they like to eat and what they don't like. So guinea pigs also need a chew toy or something to chew on to keep their teeth from growing too long, because their teeth are continually growing. and. Let's see, socially, they need at least two pigs. It's a minimum of two pigs because they are social animals. Yeah, no maximum. Just. Yeah, <laughs> no max. They have like 100 pigs. <laughs> For grooming supplies, you'll only need a few items. Number one, you'll be needing a good guinea pig shampoo or small animal shampoo. We like to use Gorgeous Guineas, and they are based in the UK. I'll put their link below because they do have a website and they do ship internationally. 
and they have a full range of different types of guinea pig shampoos. And they do make ones that are good for if your guinea pig has any skin conditions as well. You'll also be needing nail clippers and a brush. And guinea pigs do like to be brushed daily. We use this boar bristle brush, but any brush will do. And then of course for bathing your pig you will need clean towels. For the water temperature you'll want it to be a nice tepid lukewarm feel. So if it feels nice and lukewarm and comfortable to your hand, it's going to be comfortable for your pig. So first you want to rinse the baby. You want to keep the water out of their eyes and ears. Top and bottom. Get them wet. Support their back and neck. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure you rinse off that soap really well because you don't want it back under their little armpits or under their leaves. Rinse them. Rinse them. Take some water. You want them fully supported so they feel comfortable. <laughs> so long. Okay. Good soft. Well, she's a lot better customer. Client. Mm -hmm. Client. <laughs> Alright, so we have Mitzi here. She's preparing to have her nails clipped. So you can see when you have a pig that has lighter toenails, it's much easier to see where the quick is. So you want to just avoid that pink area. And we'll get to the moose in a little bit here. And that one has dark nails, so that one's a little more difficult. So I'm just going to take off a couple millimeters at a time. So I'm just using regular nail clippers right now. Here we have the moose, and she's ready for her nails to be clipped. So you can see here that her nails are black, so the quick is much more difficult to see. So we're just going to play it safe and only take off a tiny bit of each one, and just make sure that they're trimmed regularly. Something else you want to be aware of is never leave your guinea pig unattended. If it's out of its cage, it needs to be supervised. And that goes for inside as well as outside. So especially if it's outside, never leave your guinea pig alone outside. Um, and you also want to be careful of you know, heat, sun. You don't want them to be in the sun. So usually when we put them outside, they'll be in a nice shaded area. Um, something else is if they're outside, you want to make sure that they're not near any known poisonous plants. You know, they are prey animals, so they, they, they have all kinds of, they're kind of like chickens. It's like everything wants to eat them, right? So you, you've got to watch out above, you know, if you have like hawks or anything in your area. So you want to watch out for uh, predators that are above as well as on the ground. And even if you have other pets, such as cats or dogs, be aware that, uh, you know, their natural instinct can come out and they may chase or bite at, you know, your guinea pigs. So you want to be careful of other animals in general, whether they're your own pets or wild predators. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. We will have more information in the down bar and we will talk to you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Oh, I see. She wants me to bring food to her. Yeah, her blanket. she wants to lay on her little princess blanket. What about the moose? It's hiding out with the frogs, the cane toads. Hmm. <laughs>
Now, it has been asked if they run away from us outside, and it really depends on your guinea pig. Ours are pretty tame, and they don't like to be too far away from us. But some guinea pigs will run and go find, like, hiding places. Uh -oh. Now, the only time ours ever fight is pretty much over food. 